And it's great to be with you, everyone, on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And we begin here tonight with the local effort to vaccinate minority communities, some of them hit hardest, you know, by the coronavirus. And now tonight, one local hospital now reaching out to make sure that no one is left behind. Wendy Lane tonight with the new plan. The CDC considers communities of color a critical population to vaccinate. Black Americans with COVID-19 are hospitalized at three times the rate of white Americans. But when Sarasota Memorial Hospital vaccinated 3,000 seniors at a recent event open to the public, they noticed there were very few minorities. We wanted to make sure each part of our population had access to those shots. That's why they decided to go into the community. Newtown is one of the most underserved communities in Sarasota. The hospital brought the remainder of their vaccines to their Newtown clinic, vaccinating nearly 400 people. The fact that you brought it to the community will give people who without access of cars to be able to get to it. Access to the vaccine has been a problem for minority communities. Doctors say lack of transportation, availability of appointments, and education about the vaccine has left behind one of the most vulnerable populations of seniors. Our patients here in Newtown have a lot of chronic conditions that put them at a significantly higher risk. If they were to get COVID, their outcomes would be much, much more severe. This is why the state started a pilot program last week to distribute 500 doses of the vaccine through seven churches in underserved communities across the state, including St. John Progressive Baptist Church in Tampa. The governor says he plans to expand the program when more vaccine supply becomes available. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.